Randy Clark. I'm a sergeant with Hudson Police Department. You were pretty busy last night just checking on people, right? The last 24 to 48 hours, the police department's been checking areas known to where our homeless population congregates to get them out of the cold and offer them places of warmth. Uh, every shift has been doing it for the last two days. And you get a call. 8.30 this morning, we got a call, uh, two 911 phone calls from people frantic on the street stating that they found a woman frozen to death in a car here in the city of Hudson. What'd you do? We, myself, Officer Kaiser, we responded down there, uh, found a snow-covered car, frosted windows, and it looked like I had an old woman, an elderly woman, uh, frozen in the front seat. Instinctively, what did you do? I broke the window out and we entered the vehicle, and at which time we found that it was a very lifelike mannequin. You did the right thing. According to my chief, I did. <laughs> that had to be re uh, relief. It was at first, and then it was uh, a little bit of a, uh, we had uh, three police officers that were marked and my entire detective division, and we had two Greenport Rescue Ambulance, so it actually was quite a burden on emergency services. Now, the owner, what did he say? I, I can't put what he said on air, but he was not very happy with the police department for forcing entry into his car and didn't quite understand the public alarm that putting a mannequin in his car caused. He, didn't, he, didn't, he just didn't understand it. Would you change anything if you had to do it over again? Not at all. Would have done the same thing. Okay. Is there any lesson here or any, any uh, message? From Patrol's perspective, uh, if it was a joke, it's a very poor tasteful joke. If it was a uh, matter of convenience for him, uh, he was driving a station wagon. Carry your mannequin a little bit better. The mannequin was in the front seat with a seat belt on, appearing to be a passenger in the car. Um, it was either a very distasteful joke or it was just a lack of understanding what the public alarm that it could cause for people, especially in this severe weather that we've been having. You're a rookie. Yes, sir. You get trained for something like this? Um, this particular incident, um, no, uh, this is definitely not something that I was expecting to ever run into. Do, um, what did the guy say to you? What, what, what was his mood? Um, he was, he wasn't very happy. He was, uh, very upset that the window in his vehicle was broken to get to the mannequin, which we then at that time thought was a actual person. So he wasn't very happy that destruction happened to his property.